Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name is Corey. I'm Teresa. And we are Grams and Pops Vintage. We buy things cheap locally or as cheap as we can get them and we try to flip them online for a profit. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But today we're gonna look at some of the things that sold on eBay over the weekend. And we're gonna talk a little bit about paying your eBay tuition. So what's up first? Who's on second? What's on third? As always, we'll just go ahead and start out with a few of the things that sold on eBay. We'll go grab those and then we'll talk about the topic of the day. So what's first? A Gerber Remix Tactical Knife. Who's on second? That'd be this guy here. So try not to cut myself. That's the knife right there. That was part of our storage unit. We found three or four knives in that storage unit buy. So we got very little in that and that sold for what? $24.75. And on a positive note, we're almost, I'm pretty sure we're like 90, 95% fulfilled. I don't know how you say that. 95% paid back. paid back on that storage unit. So everything else pretty much from here on out is gravy. Gravy. <laughs> I like gravy. And also, oh, on another side note, did you know that some of that stuff you have to watch where you ship? Because some of it can't ship overseas. Yes, I don't think you can ship knives. What we know and what we know is subject to being completely wrong. But what I've heard is knives and a lot of the cosmetics you can't ship out of the country. Some you can, a lot you can't. So we just err on the side of caution. Anything with a knife or a cosmetic, we turn off the global shipping on it. We don't yep. ship it internationally. Correct. In case we didn't say, that is a Gerber knife. I said it was a Gerber. She's smarter than me. Okay, put it down. All right, what's next? Okay, up next is something we picked up at the Goodwill. It was, it is, sorry, it is, some blow mold trout light covers. There's these ones, and there's a story behind these ones. Somebody. It could be argued that these were tuition as well. We paid money to learn a lesson and, and that is what tuition is. We picked these up for $1.75. They actually should have sold for about $20. Mm -hmm. Somebody sent out an offer. Sorry, those are noisy. Somebody sent out an offer instead of 5% off. They sent an offer of $5 and they sold almost immediately. So these guys, we paid $1.75 and we sold them for five instead of 20, which is what they were worth. But we and don't when, know who did it. And when I say somebody did that, I mean, mm -mm. somebody probably did did that. <laughs> we don't know who did it because we both send out offers. I that's guess that's, that's the first part of our topic for today. We paid a trout tuition that cost us. Well, did it cost us anything? Did no, we, we, made, we made money on it. Okay. So $1.75, we bought them. Sold them for five bucks for five, plus shipping. Plus shipping. We, yeah, we made maybe a buck or so. So I guess... We didn't lose money. We didn't lose money. So that was an easy lesson, thankfully. Yeah, only we had to go back through all the offers we sent out to make sure we didn't do it on any other ones. Yep. So that, yeah, we, we paid a tuition in time on that one too. What's next? Uh, Ninja Turtle Keychain, Michelangelo. This one I actually thought was going to be better than it was when I saw it. It was in a little almost junk drawer part of the storage unit. So it's it's actually new in the package. The blister pack is all still together. The cardboard's in good shape and it's a Ninja Turtle keychain. So we'll what? $4.25. But it's sold. And what's next? An LPS Polar Puppy Husky. That little guy there. Just a little husky, littlest pet shop. Yep, and he sold for $4.99. All small sales, but these all add up, guys. So these are, again, these are just bread and butter stuff that sells consistently and mm -hmm. all the time. So we don't mind doing the little sales. Fisher Price Little People Garden Cottage Party Furniture. That fit there? Well, it's real right there. So two chairs, a table, a mower, and a three piece fence from 2002. And we sold it for $13.49. Up next is a vintage Cheswick action picture frames and mirrors. All right, so we've got these little vintage picture frame looking things. They're picture frames and mirrors and they're like pop metal, like pewter. Definitely older vintage pieces. And this is kind of what we talk about when we're paying tuition. We saw something that looked different and out of the ordinary stuff we don't see every day. And we weren't afraid to spend the money on it. And it wasn't a lot of money. What did we pay for? We paid six bucks. So I think there's six of them because I think there's yep. four picture frames, two mm -hmm. mirrors. Yeah, there's there's six of these total. So a buck a piece. We knew nothing about them, but we were willing to blow the six bucks to find out about them. And then we had to go home and do the research on them. Mm -hmm. 
and find out what they are and find out how much they are worth. This deal, some deals turn out horribly and we throw away six bucks or 10 bucks or 20 bucks, whatever it is, but we learn something in the process and that's the tuition in it. But this deal actually turned out pretty good because we spent the six bucks and we sold these yesterday for how much? 70 bucks. 70 bucks. So sometimes an education does pay off. It does. And we did the same thing with buying our bulk bulk buy of Barbies. The two times we did it, we had to learn. I mean, Barbies are Barbies. They look all the same, but all Barbies are not created equal. The only yeah, superior we... one is Teresa. <laughs> I don't know about that. Now, when we're going back out from here on out, we kind of have an idea of what to pick up and more importantly, what not to pick up. So the value of our inventory is getting better and we're just in general buying less garbage and more profitable items. So mm -hmm. again, don't be afraid to spend a little money just as a learning experience, I guess. We sold two lots of DVDs. We sold a Blu-ray bundle that's a bunch of sports, com that's three sports comedies, and a Blu-ray comedy six Blu-ray DVD pack. All right, we've talked about these before. We've just kind of started taking all the low price DVDs and Blu-rays and bundling them up in, in like titles. Um, they either have the same actors or the same genre or the same topic or something like that. So this is basically sports movies, like sports, sports comedies. comedies. So there's three of these here, and that's sold for what? $15. 19 cents. Yeah. This one is just a comedy bundle. It's got a bunch of different comedies in it. Cyrus and Run Fat Boy Run. <laughs> your, even... your mantra. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this fat boy don't run. If you see me running, run. All right. So not even any great comedies, but no. this one sold for what? 16 14 What's next? My, one of my things I like to sell, canisters. We sold our Del Monte canisters. Let's see. So there's, there's four different sizes. Mm -hmm. These are the... Tin ones, like tin, yeah. metal. And they have like different <laughs> so. different items. So one's tomato, I think one's corn. Yeah. I think they're the different vegetables. We paid five bucks for those and we sold them for 19 bucks. Another one of our bread and butter items. Two packages of 1988 football cards. I don't know that I would consider these bread and butter items. These they are, are for us. They, well, they are for us. They're not for everybody. These are kind of the once in a lifetime pick. And every picker I've seen gets a lucky haul like this where you you're right place right time and you buy a huge collection of something and you're willing to put down the money for it and it pays off over a long period of time so these will be selling these for probably five years we have cases and cases of these yep um and they're completely paid off by now and we put down like 2500 bucks so is it i mean we paid a, a decent amount for all these cards i mean at this point i think we're seven or eight grand in profit after paying the 25 back so these ones yeah we have no we have no money in these anymore so it's all profit from here and we sold two of those to the same guy and they go for 150 bucks a piece so he paid 300 bucks for those and last up, we sold some more Schleich animals. We sold the meerkats. Meerkat Manor is two meerkats short because these ones are going to a new home. Yes, we watched Meerkat Manor a lot as my kids were little. Those ones, the two of them went out together and they sold for what? Top nine nine. All right, so the little Schleich figures, definitely bread and butter if you find them. I think we've sold almost half of the ones that we listed already. Yeah, they sell quick. They don't stick around long. Old ones, old ones not new ones. That's all I got. You may have also noticed we have a lot more links down in our description lately. If you guys are after shipping supplies or or anything like that, box cutters, anything that we use in our own eBay shop, it's down below. If you use our links, we get a slight kickback out of that. So we get a little bit of, of uh, affiliate commission whenever you guys use those links. If you do use them, we appreciate you. And if not, that's fine too. But we put them down there to make it easy to find the stuff that we actually use if you're looking for similar items. So, all right guys, if you don't mind, if you like this video, give us a like and a subscribe, uh, click the bell, do all the things YouTube wants you to do to help this video get out there and help YouTube show it to more people. Even just a simple thumbs up, doesn't cost anything takes a second and it'll help us get these videos seen more often and if you want to see more of this content be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next video